Our next problem is number 32 from our textbook in section 1.5. And this one, it states, so once again, I'm going to read the question, but if you want to see it, make sure you go to the textbook in section 1.5, practice problem 32. So it states that Grady is flying a kite on a 50 foot of string, or on 50 feet of string. Its vertical distance from his hand is 10 feet more than the horizontal distance from his hand. So I'm going to draw a picture. And from Grady's hand, he's flying a kite on 50 feet of string. So this here is 50 feet. And it says it's vertical distance from his hand. So the vertical distance from his hand, and we'll do the horizontal distance. The vertical distance is 10 more than the horizontal. So let's just say this is the horizontal, and the vertical is going to be 10 more than the horizontal. Assuming that the string is being held 5 feet above the ground, so from here to the ground is 5 feet. Find its horizontal distance from Grady and vertical distance from the ground. So we're looking for this H and then also from the ground all the way to the top. So we are looking for this value, right? And this is just for H plus 10 is just the vertical distance. So what we know is that since we're talking about horizontal and vertical, it's a right triangle. So given the information that we have, we can say h squared plus h plus 10 squared is equal to 50 squared. Just keeping in mind that this part, so h plus 10 is not what we're looking for. We have to add 5 to it because we're trying to find the distance from the ground up to the top. So let's distribute, right? Because this part is h plus 10 times h plus 10. So I get h squared plus 20h plus 100 is equal to 50 times 50 is 2,500. And then combining like terms, I get 2h squared plus 20 h plus 100 is equal to 2,500. Now I want to set it equal to 0, so subtract 2,500 from both sides. And when I do that, I get 2h squared plus 20h minus 2,400 is equal to 0. Um, since I don't, I want to work with smallest numbers possible. So I'm going to factor out a 2. So I get h squared plus 10h minus 1200 is equal to 0. And now I got a factor. So I'm looking at 1200 negative. So I'm looking at factors of negative 1200 that when I add them together, I want 10. So the value that I have is 30 and 40, but since I want it to be positive 10, I'm going to let the 30 be the negative part. So I have 2 times h squared minus 30h plus 40h minus 1200 equals 0. So you're going to factor by grouping. So group those together, group that together, and take out the common factor. So for this one, I have h. And if I take that out, it's h minus 30 plus. And for this one, I can take out a 40. So if I take out 40, I have h minus 30 equals 0. So if I factor that out, I get h minus 30 times h plus 40 is equal to 0. So my two possible solutions 
is when this part is equal to 0. So if h minus 30 equals 0, that means h is 30. Uh, or when my h plus 40 is equal to 0, so that means h is negative 40. But in terms of this context, it doesn't make sense to have your kite negative 40 from you because we're talking about distance. So this is the one that we're going to discard. And so we have the horizontal distance is 30. But keep in mind, for vertical distance, this to here is h plus 10. So if the horizontal is 30, my vertical is 40, but his hand was already 5 feet above the ground. So overall, my vertical distance from the ground is going to be 45 feet. So I have 45 feet as my vertical, and my horizontal is 30 feet. And that ends this problem.